In this demo, we'll create a multiple zone schedule in Bell Commander. Multiple zone schedules allow audio to play to PC clients and network MP3 players at different times. For example, a fifth grade classroom could have a different Bell schedule than a first grade classroom. To begin creating a multiple zone schedule, open the Device Manager to define the devices. In the Device Manager, we'll first enable PC Client Support by selecting PC Clients and checking Enable PC Clients. At this point, we can begin adding clients to Bell Commander. To add clients, first install the Bell Commander client application or Windows service to the client PC. And then on the client, configure the client to connect to the Bell Commander PC. In this case, we've installed the, the Bell Commander service on the Bell Commander PC just to show the example of the client connecting. So here we'll enter the, the, the PC name or the IP address of the Bell Commander server. And once this is added, we can see the, the client show up on the device list in Bell Commander. Next, we'll also add a barracks device. Follow the same process and check the Enable Barracks Devices button. And to add a barracks device, click the Add Device button. And here, assign a name for the device. We'll just name it Extremers for the type of device it is. However, this could be any name, such as a classroom name or a building name. And now that we've added the device, it'll show up in the device list. The active status should be set to true. If it's set to false, then check to make sure that the correct IP address was entered for the barracks device. The next step is to group client PCs and network MP3 players into zones. Zones define a single or a set of devices that audio can be targeted to. To group the devices into zones, click on the Zones button on the toolbar to open the Zone Manager. In the Zone Manager, add zones for each grouping of devices. Client PCs and network MP3 players can be assigned to multiple zones. For example, we could have a zone with all devices and a different zone that only contains a single device. We'll create a zone with just the PC client in it and name it Room A. And now we'll assign the PC client device to the zone. Next, we'll add another zone called Room B. This zone will contain the, the Barracks Extremer device. And finally, we'll add a zone that contains both classrooms. and we'll also assign both devices to the zone. At this point, we now have zones defined for Bell Commander, so audio can be targeted to the zones via the intercom function in Bell Commander or via scheduled audio. After defining the zones, we can now enter Bell schedules for the zones. To create a new schedule, open the Day Scheduler window by clicking the Day Scheduler button. In the Day Scheduler, click the Add button to create a new schedule. We'll name this sta Standard Schedule. Next, click the Add Bell button to assign bells to the schedule. In this example, we'll assign multiple bells at an interval for, for the selected zone. So we'll have bells run from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. at an interval of 60 minutes. And in this case, we'll set these bells to play to room A. And we'll assign a file to play at the scheduled times. And now that we have bells defined for the room A, we'll also define bells for room B. We'll follow the same process and click multiple bells in an interval. And in this case, we'll set the bells to run from 745 to 345 and we'll set these to room B. And now we can see in the day schedule window the, the full set of bells for both zones. If we just want to see the bells for room A, we can click here to filter to room A. We can also click here to filter to room B. 
and we could return back to the default, which will show us all bells for all zones. After we've defined the day schedule, we can assign it to the calendar in Bell Commander. To assign it to the calendar, click the Calendar button. In the Calendar Scheduler, click the Set Default Weekly Schedule to assign the Bell Schedule to days of the week. For this example, we'll assign the standard schedule Monday through Friday. And click the OK button to close the window and to save the settings. And now we have the bell schedule set, so Monday through Friday bells will ring to both zones at scheduled times. By clicking on today we could see the bell schedule for both zones. If we select, select from the drop down we can filter to a specific zone. The next step would be to define additional schedules such as early dismissals, assembly days, and any schedule where the schedule would vary from the standard schedule. To create an additional schedule for a different type of day, return to the day scheduler window and click the add button to add the new schedule. We'll create a, a new schedule for an early dismissal. And then we'll return to the add bell window and also add bells for the new, new schedules. So we'll add bells from 8 until 2 p.m. on the early dismissal schedule. And these will play to room A. And we'll also add bells to, for room B from 7.45 a.m. until 1.45 p.m. And now we can see both sets of bells for the two zones. And then finally, return to the calendar scheduler window and set an exception on, it, on a day that should have the new bell schedules. So we'll right click on a date and click and select set exception for date. And we'll set this selected date to the early dismissal schedule. And now we can see that the, the bell schedule changes from the 8th to the ninth where the exception schedule was added. And we could see in the filters the schedule for each of the zones in the exception schedule. This concludes our demo of the Bell Commander multi-zone configuration. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at acrovista.com. Thanks.